Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Josie. Thank you so much for clicking on the video today. We're going to talk about what Splatoon 3 needs to do to set itself apart from Splatoon 2 and some of my hopes for that to happen. So without further ado, let's get into the video. At number four on my list, I would love it if they would add more casual modes. What I mean by this is that we only have Turf War right now, which really helps you understand the game, build your skills, and then eventually get up to the rank mode, which itself does have a lot of modes. But however, when you're trying to get up to that level, when you're training, it can get really exhausting to continue to keep playing the same exact thing over and over and over again of just inking the most turf. Yes, it's a lot of fun, but sometimes we need a little bit more variety. So my hope for in Splatoon 3 is that they add another mode that is casual. So it's something that'll help you level up, get better weapons, and teach you the basics of the game. Number three on my list is that they need to continuously update this game just like how they did with Splatoon 2. If you remember, around one to two years after Splatoon 2 came out, we got the release of the Octo Expansion DLC, which is fantastic. So I really, really hope that they are going to do something similar and release a huge story expansion like that for Splatoon 3, which I think is already gonna have a gigantic focus on story. And so if they can continue that, it's going to be amazing. So number two on my list is the addition of new ranked modes. So if you recall in Splatoon 2, they added Clam Blitz, which is a really great mode, basically where you collect enough clams to make a football and you throw that football in the other team's barrier. It sounds kind of weird, but it's actually so much fun in practice. I'm sure a ton of you have played it. So what I'm hoping with in Splatoon 3 is that they take that mode and they build off of the random ideas of that. So they create another mode that's very out of the blue that you wouldn't expect that you haven't seen from another game. And th I think if they added at least one new mode to ranked battle, it would really validate this game being a thing because then it wouldn't just be Splatoon 2 brought over with some new updates. It'd be a whole new thing in of itself that would really be enticing for competitive players. And people like me who like to keep the game fresh and will get tired of modes that they've played over and over again, especially from the past games, this is gonna add a whole new level of value for me. Moving on to number one, and the thing that I want most is that I want the waiting game from the original Splatoon to be brought back. This was a platformer, high score based mini game that you would play while you're waiting to get into a match. You were this little squid and you basically just jumped everywhere. It's kind of like doodle jump, but it doesn't automatically jump you at places. But as you progress and get higher and higher, there's actually, it becomes a lot more challenging and it's actually so much fun. So even if they brought this back in like the arcade modes that they like to do, or they just have it for when you're waiting for a match, that would be so much fun. In the original Splatoon, sometimes I go back and play it, don't even find a match and have a blast because I just play that little mini game for so long. So I really, really hope that that is brought back. Thanks so much for watching. If you really like this video, drop a like, drop a subscribe. I'm really trying to grow this community. We have gotten 20 subscribers, which is literally awesome. And I know it's a pretty small milestone, but for me, it really does mean a lot. So I really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments down below if you plan on getting Splatoon 3 or if it's not different enough or what the devs could do to make you want to buy this game. Anyways, guys, I will see you all later.